video wall. Have you ever seen a video wall? Sure you did. Now I'm going to show you a nice video wall. I'm going to show you how to configure that video wall using the assistance of Roy. He's our video wall master. But before that, I, I would like to show you how it looks like. This is a 10 inch uh, professional display or tablet or actually it's not a touch display, but some call it tablet. And it has HDMI in, HDMI out, power and everything else doesn't matter because we're using the HDMI. So actually we have configured a couple of these here, all right, three, three of them. You see this is left one, center one and right one. Now how is it configured? You can see that I have this uh, Android box, this is a Minix uh, X10 Mini, all right, this is an Android box and it has power, it has HDMI cable that goes to the HDMI in of this display and there's an HDMI cable that goes from the HDMI out, out of this oh, sorry of this display into the HDMI in port of this second display and so on this is why it's called daisy chaining all right it's like a chaining from the first to the second to the third and so on but it doesn't mean that the rightmost screen has to be the first we're going to configure them using this remote control but before we do, let me explain you some important thing. Look at this piece of paper. I have drawn a sketch for you to explain you how it's going, how it is supposed to look like. Just imagine this kind of matrix, three on three, just like a tic-tac-toe game, where you have three columns and three rows, all right? Uh, it's like in mathematics of sixth grade when you have the x-axis for the hor uh, horizontal uh, bar and you have the y-axis for the vertical bar. So every square here gets coordinates and those three yellow ones actually represent those three. So this one, the x, actually the whole line is, is y1, y2, y3, x1, x2, x3. And this is how we refer to them when we decide to put a layout. That means I can put actually six more but just for the simplicity I have put here only three and these are those three x1 y1 x2 y1 x3 y1 all right this is how they're configured and I'm going to use this um, remote control to show you how it works basically if I press the blue button here this is a prime view product um, actually I get this this menu, if I press the red one, it disappears. And the thing is that I can choose which one to deal with. For example, if I would like to deal with this one, I'll press number one. That means now, if I press the menu, actually it goes to, let's do it again, current number one, and then enter. And now if I press menu, the menu appears on this one because this is number one, this is number two, and this is number three. And when I look at this menu, I have, let's do it again, I'm pressing menu, I have the four first parameters or settings which are very important. Max three, max three, that means the X max means how many, uh, sorry, it's uh, how many, uh, let's do it again. All right, X max means how many rows do I have and Y max means how, how many columns or actually I think it's the other way around. So you see it's three on three and actually I can change, for example, if I change the position of this one, the X position, I can change it to, let's say, for example, number two. Okay, so I'm just pressing the arrows and now it's going to be number two and it's just like number two and if I like to change it to number one now it's going to be like number one so basically all the changes are being done using the remote control I just need to pair it each time with a different display and like you see we can take an object or text and move it between those displays Roy is going to show you after I finish talking here is going to show you on the studio how this is being done all right, so all this with the remote control. Okay, let's move forward.
Hey everyone, how are you? Harvey, this one is for you because you said that I'm not uh, taking part. Um, so a little bit about how we create everything. So the first thing we need to understand how many screens we have, uh, like uh, Nir show, showed in his uh, sketch and the metrics. Uh, so we uh, created uh, using uh, uh, the editor, just minimize here, using the editor, uh, first of all, the resolution, okay? Um, this is a 4K resolution. Uh, what I do, I will uh, divide uh, uh, the 3840 uh, by three, and also the 2160 by three. And that way I will get the size for each screen, okay? So I just colored each one with the different colors so we could uh, uh, recognize them on the screen. And over here, uh, as you could see, uh, I did like a kind of a template where I could uh, see each screen, what he's showing. If I want to put something on all of them, I just drag and drop uh, easily. Let's see if it's a text, put it on all three, okay? And then uh, this is a ticker. So if I add, uh, uh, sorry, Hebrew. Uh, if I add this, this will run on all three uh, uh, if I do from left to right. Now, uh, this is exactly what we did on the bottom. Uh, and what's important is that if I want to set specific content for each screen. Uh, this is where I uh, actually create it. So if I want a video to run or a photo, okay, to run on the middle screen, all I need to do is to go to the library, choose the happy anniversary uh, uh, photo, stretch it, or I could put uh, uh, the information of the size on the left and right. Okay, and this will play on the second screen only. So uh, uh, a lot of people are, uh, are thinking now that we could uh, put three videos and uh, uh, have a nice video wall. The problem is uh, when we use a, a, a device like uh, Minix, for example, we know that it has a limitation that it cannot play uh, three videos at the same time on the same screen in a way. Uh, so that's kind of a problem. So after testing and uh, uh, trying to find a way uh, to make it happen without hurting the resolution or something, uh, we found a way to upload a media file. Okay, like you could see over here, maybe uh, um, let's do uh, something else. So, so uh, if I uh, go on a full size, I will see a video wall, uh, uh, not a video wall, a video um, file that you could see we have three videos in each row, all uploaded as one, uh, uh, one file, okay? You will need to go to your uh, video editor guy or to your video studio to ask this. So we know the sizes by the um, template we just created for the studio. Uh, and he will need to do something like this. Now, uh, we already uh, released a, a blog that's online that you could uh, uh, click and see how to create a video wall. Uh, of course, using uh, uh, the prime view uh, hardware we have here. So we have a lot of options. If it's a two on two video, uh, uh, four on four, three on three, uh, we could do uh, up to a 16 screen video wall in a very nice way using one uh, media player. Uh, so this is actually uh, kind of amazing. Uh, all you need to do is just uh, uh, play a little bit with the video file in order to get a perfect resolution so it won't be stretched on all screens. Um, and again, we, uh, another example is how to do the two on two uh, uh, video wall. So we have a full uh, HD resolution on pixels. Uh, uh, by the way, I guess you already noticed that we have percentage in pixels. So by the pixels, each one is divided to two. So it's 960 and 440. Uh, that's each screen for a four inch, uh, for a four uh, screen two on two video wall. And that's uh, 
that's all the secret, guys. So if you have any more questions, of course, uh, we will send you also uh, the link to the blog so you could read and test. Uh, and of course, with live videos that we did uh, uh, and everything, and we will send everything uh, to you guys as well. That's it.